So I uploaded that Farina vape gameplay a few days ago and I was using No Bless on Bennett and it was good. The team worked very well, but then I was thinking, do I really need that 20% attack from No Bless? So this is something I've been cooking. So the idea is the more often Bennett can fully heal teammates, the more often you can activate Farina's own healing and the easier it is to maintain HP drain for all your teammates. So I'll show you an example. So as you can see, my Bennett's healing ticks for over 10k, meaning I instantly fully heal Kazawa, Shangling in just one tick whenever they're swapped to. And this also works for any teammate who has average or low max HP, which is actually quite a lot. In fact, most characters in the game are not Yelan or Hu Tao or Zhongli where they have over 30,000 HP. Really, most characters actually sit somewhere from 16 to 20k HP. My Raiden would get fully healed even at 50% HP. My Klee would get fully healed, Sucrose. Even if these characters are at half HP, they're still basically fully healed with just one tick. Just one tick. Like, who needs Jean? I don't. So you can see, I'm running two-piece Ocean Hue Clam and two-piece Maiden's Beloved, which totals to 30% extra healing bonus, which is actually 5% less, which you'd get from a four-piece Maiden's Beloved, which would be even stronger, but I actually foddered most of my Maiden's Beloved pieces a long time ago. So it would take me too long to get a set for that. And this is almost the same thing. And together with a healing bonus circlet, I'm getting 65% extra healing bonus on Bennett with a level 10 burst and more healing bonus when you use Farina's burst. So it all adds up to quite a lot of healing. By the way, Farina's pets auto attack these mechanisms in the overworld. You can see my character's HP are draining in the background. So you can actually test all this HP draining stuff without even being in combat. But just remember that your healing will be higher in combat because when you build these fanfare stacks, you get these healing bonus buffs. Whilst I'm here, I'll show you my Farina build. In my previous videos, a lot of people were shocked that I have such good artifacts already. I've even got multiple flowers. I've got this, and I've got this, and this. I've got multiple feathers, which are pretty decent. These are what I'm using right now. 245 CV. But yeah, like I said in the comments, I have very good golden troop, but my Marichose Hunter pieces are not very good at all. So why I think healing bonus artifacts are good? Bennett doesn't actually have much opportunities to heal teammates, even in a quick swap team like this. And it's not even about field time. In fact, Bennett's healing ticks have always been very fast. It's actually because once a character goes over 70% HP, he actually can't heal them again until they drop in HP. So that's his real weakness, is that he heals a lot, but he doesn't always get a chance to heal. So what this means is, if you only get one opportunity to heal a teammate, the amount you heal in that one tick is very valuable. And what I'm effectively doing with these full healing builds is increasing the likelihood that Bennett will fully heal a teammate in that one tick. Whereas as his healing power gets less and less, with weaker healing, you're reducing the amount of time you buy before your teammate needs to get healed again. But as I've shown in my other videos, it is still possible to heal teammates high without fully committing to a healing build. Like even with no bless, you can get 8,000 heals per tick, which can still heal many characters. Like 70% of Cosmo's HP, he only needs about 6,000 tick of a heal to get fully healed from 70%. Even a Shang Ling at 50% HP can get fully healed with 8,000 tick. So Bennett can still definitely work without 10k heals, but this build is just increasing the consistency at the cost of weaker buffs. So what's the alternative gear? So usually people run no bless on Bennett in most teams, maybe something like this and just a little healing comparison here. You can see it's quite a bit weaker, but it was even good enough for my cards were there. But people usually use Noblesse because it gives this 20% attack bonus. 
But actually Farina's damage scales with HP, so Nobest doesn't actually do anything for her damage. As for attack scaling teammates damage like Xiongling or Kli or whoever else you're playing in these teams, the better and more consistently your team is being healed, the more damage Farina does with her skill and the more fanfare stack she's building, meaning more damage buffs for your team, which might be able to outweigh the attack buffs from Noblesse. And also this damage bonus has a longer uptime compared to a 12 second attack buff from Noblesse anyway. Now it's not guaranteed that will be stronger than Noblesse, but it's definitely possible. It's not something I can say at the moment. Sometimes people also use Instructor. This set can be popular in some teams like the Child Team or Hu Tao Team. But as you can see, the healing is significantly worse than the other options because you're stuck with four star artifacts. And that's a big negative in Farina teams. However, it still might be a good option, especially in a vaporized team like this, this Elemental Mastery buff is going to be very strong but i just don't know if this is going to be as consistent or practical so i know a lot of people might be asking why would you use bennett at all in farina teams like, aren't you supposed to use jean or baiju or whoever and it's quite simple bennett just provides a lot of team buffs there's a reason why he was so popular and i don't think it's going to stop now just because of farina of course other healers gain benefits and have gained a lot of value with farina especially if they have team-wide healing, but then it also still does have value with Farina, especially in a synergistic team. And as long as he is being played in a team where his healing can be utilized effectively, like with characters who have average HP. And even if Bennett has reduced effectiveness, he's still Bennett. The buffs you get to your team, it is possible for that still to outweigh the negatives you get from Farina losing that healing consistency. But like I've shown in this video, you can still get healing consistency with Bennett. Also, you can still argue that Bennett is just a really strong healer regardless. Like these tick super fast for about 13 to 14 seconds and you can burst every 15 seconds more likely every 20 seconds but as we've known for years that's still amazing at keeping your teams basically immortal as long as you aren't fighting enemies who can react with this pirate infusion and one shotting you with vape or melt or overload like these fast healing ticks is actually so valuable overall i think the sheer potential of bennett's healing strength might be a bit underestimated at the moment but because a lot of people might be focusing on teams with very high HP teammates and strict setups like Yela and or Hu Tao or Farina herself. I honestly think even Kuki Shinobu's single target healing can actually be pretty good if you're not pairing her with super high HP teammates. Just sacrificing a bit of her elemental mastery and improving her healing. So if you guys do have Maiden's pieces, you can try this out, whether you're using a mix set or you're using four piece Maiden's blood for even more healing. And you can see if this works better for you. If you don't have Maiden's pieces, which I imagine is quite a lot of people, then you can try a mix set like this or even just two piece Ocean Hued Clam. Or you can wait a few more weeks and see if Maiden's Bennett does get more popular or not. As I mentioned in my Farina review, this Abyss isn't the best for her and no one has a fully built Farina yet either. So we aren't going to be able to fully test Farina for a while and see what her full potential is. Over time, some things may catch on and become meta, some things might not, but we won't know for now. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and thanks for watching.